Welcome everybody. We are back on Hunchback for a stream. So, um, where we left off last time, we'd started putting bad guys in. Um, hang on, let's see if it's still working. There we go. So we got bad guys in. Oh, I forgot where. There we go. We've given up on the multiplexer. Yeah, but we've got the arrow, we have a fireball, we have a wandering, a wandering guard just wandering about. But, if you noticed, I've got stable rasters. I mean, this is a bit chaotic, but don't worry about that because, you know, but I've got stable rasters. Now... It's still glitching just here, but I think we can fi we can tidy that up by um, figuring out why things are taking too long to do things. But this is just because this yellow section. Um, and the yellow section, if my memory serves me right, is the update sprite routine. And it's only going to get worse. So, before before I go on, I've done some changes, right? So, I've done some changes in the bad guys. And these changes are, so ignore that, are here. So, the, the macro, the bad guy, set up the bad guy, we add all the stuff in there to set up a, the sprite. But what I've done is I've created another one, another macro called Setup Sprite, which Setup Bad Guy uses to set up the standard sprite, and then it then sets up the bad guy specific stuff. So that means that in Sprite we have got a new macro right down at the bottom, which is called Setup Sprite. But I've also done some optimization. So you can see that I've taken some stuff out, like here, uh, not there, here. So we've taken out where it works out whether the sprite is on the screen or not, because we had it in one, two, three, four places. I think it's a bit further on as well. There, there's another place. So that's five places. So it was running five times. Every cycle it was running five times. So I've got rid of it. And what I've done is I've put it into the update sprite routine. So it just runs it once there. So it runs it once for that sprite. That is the sprite within the confines of the screen. And then that's it. That's done it. I've also um, fixed a bug. Because... When we test whether the sprite's on the screen, we don't actually test to see if the linked sprite is on the screen as well. Well, we don't not test it. We don't set it. So this is what this does. So it tests whether the sprite's on the screen. And if it's whatever the result is, we actually apply it to the linked sprite as well. And that's why when you notice uh, Quasi... His multicolor sprite was slightly shifted out from his um, high res sprite. It's because we hadn't linked them together properly for that particular thing. And the other thing that I've done is down here, I've bypassing all this lot. So if it's not on screen, we don't even bother updating the sprite as before we were. So if the, if the sprite wasn't on screen, we still was updating it. So I've took all that out because we don't need to, we don't need it. And that's sprite. And then there was quasi where, do, 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 do. what have I done? Oh, I moved, I moved the sprite data. Yeah. And then there's the logic. So. <laughs> I'm, 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 I misspelled my uh, <laughs> debug, <laughs> but 
But I've also done a bit of uh, tweaking. So we have... Where is it? Here. So I've got setup sprites and stuff like that in there now. So we've got setup bad guy and then I've got setup sprite. Where is it? And it, that allows now to use the macro for... So we've got two macros. One to set up a sprite as a normal sprite and one to set up the bad guy. So we'll have probably have another macro to do other things. So that's what, it, what I've done. But... As you saw, the yellow is pretty large. So, just seeing if we've got a raster on it. No, we haven't. So, the, so we've still got problems that the yellow... Oops, not wrong one. The yellow area, which is updating the sprites. So, this lot is updating sprites. Yeah, it's still doing an awful lot and I don't know what it's doing because I've tried to so it should be just looping around I mean obviously it's doing the animation but it shouldn't be doing anything else really let's have a look let's see if there's anything moving right have we got any sprites that are moving so we've got the arrow when the arrow is on the screen and then it stops and then it, it carries on. Quasi's still going but what are we are we modifying others? We're modifying this one by the looks of it. I mean that one's enabled. I don't know why that one's enabled. Hmm. That shouldn't be enabled. I mean, this turn when it's off screen, it turns off. So this one shouldn't be enabled. I'm just wondering if I'm not actually getting there. Hmm. Let's have a look. Get rid of all that lot. Hi, Creator ID. Right, so let's have a look. Compare with maximum number of sprites. So we're doing zero to eight. It should be, yeah, it should be running through and saying that that sprite is not on. It shouldn't be enabled. Yeah, it's off. So I don't know why it's, it's on. Um, oops. Let's get the big. So here, this sprite is on, and it shouldn't be. So there's some processing going on here. A uh, little, little, little border. Right. So as you can see, we've got a sprite here, which is sprite seven, and down here. Which one's that one? Hmm, I don't know what that one is. But that one's there, so we're, we're processing a sprite we shouldn't be. We should only be processing sprites that are on the screen. And at the moment there's two, then three. But we've got another one there. And I don't know why that's there. Sprite seven. What have we got at Sprite 7? Uh, da, 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 logic. Here we go. It's 
Right. One and two. Zero, one, two and three. Here we go. Four, five, six. So we shouldn't have a seventh. We shouldn't have a seventh. Right, let's have a look where the memory is because this, this is confusing confusing right where's the memory right so we are looking at 08 f4 Ooh, wrong one right 08 f4 so there we are there's our thing so we got Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, seven is on. Seven is on. Really? Right, Let's try and figure out. So that should be a quasi, Jill, fireball, arrow, guard. I mean, that's being written to as well. That's being written to. Hmm. Let's see. Um... I mean, it's saying. Right, something's right into it, so we need to figure that out. Right, let's put a break point. Um, so we should only come here a few times. Let's have a look. Right, that's the first time, so Y register is zero, so that's quasi. Quasi again. Now this is three, so that's Jill. Four is fireball. Five is the arrow. Six is the guard. Zero, quasi. There we go, seven. Where did that come from? Right. Um, stack pointers, FO. Let's have a look. So it came from... O nine BF O nine BF All oh, right, okay. Is that turning off? Now it's turning it on. Hang on. If we're at oh, if we're at stat point to FO, that means it's before that. And it, oh, so it's O O A D C. 
Okay, OADC. That's here. That's where it's come from. And it's in get X. Okay. Right, let's have a look. So it's this. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here. Sprite on screen by X. So we're in the right place. So it's here. It is saying that Sprite 7 is on the screen, but it can't be. Hmm. So where is it coming from? So the sprite is on the screen. Right. Let's get another v copy of that up here because I want to look at the update. Right. Check the sprites on the screen so it comes in. So it's doing sprite 7. Okay, sprite 7. Is the sprite on the screen? Well, it would be. But it shouldn't be. Right, so we've got a bit of a we've got a bit of an issue. Um We're enabling a sprite that we don't need to enable. So, um, what do we need to do? Um, I think we need to check that it's it's on. Okay, let's work this out. If it's if we haven't switched it on, we shouldn't be doing anything with it. Right. Need to do we get can we get or have I just got it as set set enable apply enable oh we haven't got a get okay so we are looking at that And if it's equal to zero, we want it to go. Where do we want it to go? Um, there. Right. Let's see if it's on now. Here we go. It's off now. But the problem is now, the arrow's not coming back on. Oh, oh. So 
So we may need um, something else. Can't use the enabled as a as a tester. Um, we may need something else. Something to say that the sprite's active. That we're using it. That's it, that's the word. That we're using it. Um, do we have anything that says that we're using it? No. Um. The problem is we're trying to not process sprites that are not on the screen. Maybe I'm just... Right. Let's see if the arrow comes back. Oops. Right, the arrow's back, but we're still activating seven. Why are we act we're not using seven? We're not using it. Stand that border. Hang on. Got rid of it. So seven's not been used there. There's the arrow. Arrow's on. There's the fireball. Arrow, then this should be the guard. Yep, there he is. But seven's now no longer, no longer being used. So border, yeah, he's gone. Seven's not there. What the? Right, let's get back to. We've only got three of them on. And sevens. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, I see what the problem is. Right, okay, I see what the problem is. Uh, let's change. Um, it's because we have. X low at zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to put XI at uh, something out of the way. So 10. That would be really, really out of the way. So that now means... Ooh, go away. So 
So that means now, because what was happening, the screen was coming back, and while rule says if it's within the border, we activate it. So seven should not be activated now. And it's not. That's what the problem was. Because it was set to zero, it was thinking that it was um, it was on the screen. Right, so now we need to so we've got up oh, we got this updating so that's runnings for sprites one and two three four five shouldn't do anything it should just bypass the whole thing update sprites so it comes through is the sprite on the screen we check whether we check whether we've modified the sprite. Why am I checking for that? Why am I checking for that? No, hang on. I am checking for that. Right, because the on-screen routine turns the mod, it turns whether it's on or off. Right, okay, and then it bypasses everything. So it comes down to on-demand animation, which is down here. Does the next sprite? That shouldn't be taking all that time. Should not be taking all that time. Oh, come on, John, get on the right. I'm going to create a workspace for this because I'm getting fed up with it in the wrong button. <laughs> right. Put the borders on. So our yellow is down here. So what is it doing at that point? Screen X. All oh, right, it's working out whether it's on the screen or not. Okay. Um, do I need to work it out whether it's on the screen or not if it's not on the screen? Um, yes, because we use the on off to turn it off. So we need to evaluate it just in case it creeps back on. Okay, right. We've only got eight sprites because we've got, we've moved away from the multiplexer, but I have an idea, yeah, because we are only worried about having eight sprites on the screen at the same time. And currently, currently, if we run it, just get rid of the border. There we go. So currently, there's only three sprites on this screen. So there's three. Then two, then three, then two, then three, two, four, five. And what I thought was if we if we place the bad guys strategically on the on the a whole map yeah and make sure that we've only got eight sprites that are available on the screen we could have more than more than eight um, five bad guys on here you know because at the moment these two sprites are taken up by jill but she's not on the screen yet this but this sprite is taken up by the fireball this one's taken by the arrow this one's taken by the the guard but if we want more sprites on if we want more bad guys on there We've only got one more slot, so it's only one more bad guy. So what I was thinking was we could have 
a type of multiplexer, but instead of a screen multiplexer, we have a stage multiplexer that we can have 18 bad guys. And as long as we strategically put them in a place that we don't exceed the number eight byte, eight sprites, we could have more bad guys on the screen. And that's what I was thinking of um, thinking of doing, was trying to simulate having more than eight sprites, but the system would be able to cope because it would jig, it would juggle all this lot around, yeah? So my theory is, is that we, even though we set Jill to be these two, yeah? That this would move down, this would move down, and this would move down to take these these slots up that leave these three there. So we need to write a fun we need to write a function to do that to allow us to be able to put more monsters on uh, bad guys on the screen. And I'll have some it's some it's a poor man's multiplexer, I suppose, where we are reusing sprites for the the aim of getting more bad guys on the scene, yeah? So, what I was thinking of was we have an array of bad guys here that's set to the number of sprites, which really is wrong because four of those sprites at the moment are taken by Quasi and Jill. And what I was thinking was that we have a total number of sprites that we can use and then um, have the eight sprites that are um, the actual sprites that are being used at that time it means then that we're no longer we're no longer looking at the um, actual sprite data where we've got to concentrate on the sprite array and so what I was thinking was that every time we run through, we find, we see, we know what sprites are on the screen at the same time. And then we take those sprites and put them into the hardware sprite array. And then run through that hardware sprite array to, um, um, to do the update. So hopefully it means then that we could have as many bad guys as we want on the screen but we're still using the eight sprites, but we're not doing a full blown multiplexer. It means that we would, we would only have a, ever have eight sprites on the screen at the same time, but bad guys that are off the scene are still being manipulated by our sprite routine because the multiplexer was not working, not working at all. I mean, I can turn it on and show you. It was just, it was just, causing more trouble than it was worth. Oops. Ooh, that's a good point, John. That's a good point. I didn't put this into the multiplexer, did I? Let's just put this in the multiplexer. That's it. So as you can see, when the, you can just sit, in fact, well, let's give it a different color. What color am I not using? What color am I not using? Let's have a look. Which color am I not using that will stick out like a sore thumb? Um that one 11 where's the multiplexer right so instead of doing cyan a bit further down that's the initialization here right instead of using light green We'll do dark grey. 
I don't think we've got there. Right, so this should stick out like a sore thumb. So the dark greys are the multiplexer. So there you go, there's the dark grey there. When the arrow comes in, there's the dark grey there. Now Quasi's not part of the multiplexer because we're manipulating him directly. Right, but once we get once we get into this realm, oh, there's the that's the raster. There's the five or raster, and we start to get artifacts like this, and also the fireball is flashing. Look, it's flashing because the multiplex is having trouble coping so let's see i think the multiplex is switching the fireball sprite to to being different sprites instead of it being constant so Let's see what's happening with the fireball. So that's the fireball there. And it's just flashing, look. Oh, it's swapping between these two. Yeah, it's switching between those two. So the multiplex is still having problems. And that's why I've decided not to use it because it was just affecting and also the scroll was the scroller was just being have been hammered to death. You know, when we go, look how far down the glitch is. I think it's about there. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's down there when it gets really really hammered so I went back to doing the non multiplexer way now the glitching is still there but you know quasi's running a lot quicker the arrows not jerky we just got to sort out the the differential and it's it's all it's this it's just this it's just taking so much time to do the sprites don't know why it should be taking no time whatsoever anyway so the plan is to try and increase the number of sprites of our sprite matrix and then compile the actual array for it to run through. So we should be able to have more bad guys and with for the number of sprites that we've got. Because I think trying to trying to get more sprites on the screen at the same time I think we're just gonna struggle with. So as long as we don't exceed eight, I think we'll be fine. And so we can have them all over the place. So it's just a case of um, library, sprite library. We've got some constants in place. All right, so we've got maximum number of sprites. Yeah, that's right, maximum number of sprites. But we're gonna have another one called maximum number of logical woo log, logic of hey you what are you doing here hey what are you doing here you seeing how I'm doing am I doing it right all right then <laughs> so 
So we're going to have a maximum number of logical sprites. Now the logical sprites means that we're going to have a, an array of sprites. Now, so let's see how many, how many? We'll do 18 to start with. So we need to change all these because these are our logical sprites. Our animation. Right, and then the bad guys. We need to do the bad guys, don't we? Right. So we need to write another routine that's going to look at this table yeah it's going to look at that table and then it's going to take the spr the, the logical sprites that are um, on screen and it's going to put them into our new one which is our physical to logical Right. Um, or physical to logical sprite. Um, map. So we're going to make this max make this eight sprites and we are going to default it to ff because we're not we're not going to have 255 sprites in fact we're not going to have 128 so we'll do that so it means that once that is we can test quickly branch of minus that this is not on right so we now need to make a routine that's going to populate this table with the mapping of our logical sprites. So let's get down. We don't want to be in the, m right, here we go. So here. Here, right, so. Um, Cool, my labels are getting longer. So, LDY hash zero. And what we're gonna do is No, it's not the actual sprite loop, is it? It's the logical. No. No, it's the actual. So we are going. We're going to initialize our. Uh, we're going to initialize our array, and then we're going to store it in. What did we call it? that comma y i n y in fact um we'll do it backwards branch if minus branch if plus to actual There. Right, so that resets our array. So now we're going to loop through our logical array. So we're going to start at naught and we are going to we'll initialize x as well. 
So this is going to be our logic logical sprite pointer. And this is going to be our actual sprite pointer. So we are so we're going to be doing an inner and outer loop. So Yeah. So we're going to loop going to loop through the actual sprites. How are we going to loop through the actual sprites? No. Loop through the logical ones. So, LDA on screen comma y because that's our logical that's our logical sprite pointer. Now, branch if minus next logical sprite because if it's not on the screen we don't need to put it into our actual sprite array but if it is if it is um, on the screen then we need to say store y now I'm not too sure if we can do this but we'll find out in a minute store y in our actual mapping here comma x now I'm not too sure we can do that so let's find out Da, 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 da. Instruction set. Store Y, comma X. Can we do it? No! Oh, we can't even do store X, comma Y. Pants! Alright. So we're going to have to do a bit of jiggery pokery. So, transfer Y into A. Store A. Then we're going to increase X. And then carry on. But we need to test X. So CPX hash. Uh, maximum number of sprites. Because if it's equal to, we need to bypass it. Because we haven't got any sprites to, we haven't got any sprites to sh spare. So basically, we're going there. So that's saying if we've come across a logical sprite that's on the screen, we then check our check x, which is our index to our physical sprites with the maximum number of sprites we're allowed. If it's equal, means it's hit our limit, we move on to the next logical sprite because we can't put it in the array. If we can put it in the array, we take our logical sprite index, store it in there, and then carry on. Sorted. So here we are gonna be doing INY, CPY hash log, log, logical sprites branch if not equal to looper logical sprites RTS so it initializes it so it wipes out the array sets up with what sprites are on the screen and we run through them right 
So we need to then run this routine in our updater. To here. So we need to run this in our updater. And what we need to do is we need to do it here. JSR, find out what's on the screen at that point. Also, I need to, we need to find that and replace it with that, I think. Because there are certain things in there that we need to look at. Right, let's start at the top. No, we're not changing that. No, 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 no. Where's that? That's our update. Right, we need to change that. We need to change that. No, no, no. I thought there was something. Right, so back to the updater. So we determine we determine which logical sprites are gonna take an actual sprite up, and then we run through that array. So we need to, so this is the current sprite. Right, current sprite. So we'll make that current Yeah, we'll leave that one as is. And current, we'll cr have another one called current logical sprite. So we'll do that. Um. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, F H. Change that. Um, no, not change that. No, not change that. Right. So we need to copy this into there. Into there and into there. So load the logical sprite. Then we're gonna load the mapping. Come away. Now, if it's got no sprite attached to it, we are gonna branch it minus two, and I think it may be too far away to here. To do the next next logical sprite okay so hopefully that is not too far away um, if it has got a number then we're going to store it in here and then transfer a into y because everything now looks at the um, looks at the um, Y registry, but this is going to be a little bit troublesome. Maybe are we using X anywhere? Maybe I should use X. Yeah, let's use X. So load X with the current logical sprite. 
X. Transfer. Yeah, transfer aim to Y. So this is X. Now that's X. Y is that. So we load it. Da -da -da -da. X and Y is used to apply to do the apply. This is X. In fact, we don't need to do that anymore because we do that up here. So we don't need to do that anymore. Can get rid of that. Right, let's change all these to X. Right, so we're I and X store X in the current logical sprite and test it. Right. Right, so we just need to make sure that Y is still valid. So we don't need to do that there. We need to do that there. Well, we've done it anyway, T-A-Y. Um, I X, X, load Y for there. We're going to load Y there just to make sure that we're looking at the right sprite. Right, so that's using the physical sprite. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Right, let's see if I've broken it. Let's see if I've broken it. Oh, sorry, Microman. I didn't see you go. Oh, it's too far. Thought it might be. So we're going to say jump to there and then branch if plus to action sprite. Ooh. Right. Right, let's see. Oh, wrong one. And we broke it. Let's see what we broke. Let's do that. Right, so we are going into our evaluator. Load seven. Store it in OAA4. So we'll that's here. So we'll just keep an eye on what's going on there. So it's going back. Last one, done. Right, so now we're running through our array. So 
So load the first one. Is it? Oh, it's FF. Oh. That's it's off screen. So they're all off screen. Okay. Okay. What's that? Oh, A94. On screen, so it's not evaluating. It's not evaluating them. Um, right. <laughs> That's because we've moved it. Okay. Um, Um, right, so we're going to rev this out and we're going to go back to where we set the X. Set Y, set the X, here we go. So we're going to evaluate it there. Set X, add it, subtract, copy. Don't need to do it on apply. Right. That's because it it didn't come on the screen because we hadn't run whether it's on the screen or not. So we're not going to do that now here. But what we are going to do is we are going to store it that. Right. Let's see. I think we still got the breakpoint there. Yes, we have quasi. We have quasi. Where's my break point? Right. So we go in O A A four. Here we go. So that's starting there. So it's going to wipe it out. There we go. Now we're going to run through the logical array. So we should have set everything up. Right, so load 
First one, that is on screen. Transfer wine to A, which is zero. Store it in OAA4. Sprite zero, right. Iron X, iron Y. CPY 12, branch if not equal. Load the next one. So this is now sprite two. Yeah, store it, yeah. Iron X, iron Y. Now this is Jill. Sprite 3 is Jill, which is off screen, so it should just bypass it, yeah. Sprite 4 is um, Jill, bypasses it. Sprite 5. Is not on. Now this should be the arrow, it should be on the screen. Yes it is. So that becomes the next bright. Which it is. Oh so we've got O one and five. Then we run through again. And they're all Fs. So we'll run through where we're we up to D E F one two so it comes out right so we load x with so we're loading x with our current our current our current what our current logical sprite okay Ooh, how many of these have got open one shut that down so we're loading with our current logical sprite, which is zero. That's quasi. Branch of plus. We store it in. Oh, hang on. That's it. Yeah. So we, that, this is the physical. Sp store it in the physical sprite. Load X. That should be zero. So it's, it's actually applying it. Oops. But it's, it's stuck. It does quasi and then sticks. Let's put another breakpoint in here. Um, here. Right, so we know we set it sets up the array. So does it get to the iron X? Yes, it does. Right, let's go into that mode. So Quasi's there. Ten. Store it. Load. Oh, one. Oh, oh, okay. I saw it went on there. Right, so here we are losing X has been destroyed. So we need to do this. Let's just make sure. I wonder if everything else. Right, we'll put it there. Apply color, we'll put that there. Oh. Hang on, let's just check. Mm. 
Apply frame will definitely destroy X. Will definitely destroy X. Apply colour, does that destroy X? No. So we're alright there, so we can keep keep that out. Apply expand. Does that destroy X? No. So we're all right. There. Apply priority. No. So we're okay there. Apply multicolor. No, nope. we're okay there. So we don't need that either so x looks like we're okay um apply x does that destroy x yes it does right so we need to load from there and i bet apply y does it as well No, nope, no, nope. apply Y doesn't destroy it. Apply enable. No, nope, that doesn't destroy it. Right, so, okay. We might be on a winner now. Let's uh, shift F6. Oh, wrong, wrong screen. Right, so it should break. So that's where we're determined. Now we know that that's working, so we'll, we'll move it on to the next bit. So it's going to load, re-establish X, iron X, store it, do the next bit. Iron X, do the next bit. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. That's right. But we're only seeing one sprite. That's not good. Resets it. Put a break point, not there, there. Resets it. So now we're looking through LDY. Zero. One. Right, so it, it does it. Right, LDX, 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 zero. It's not doing the first sprite. Oops. Right, it's not doing the first sprite. Um, but it's there. Sprite one is at zero. Why is Sprite 1 at 0? Right. 
Right, let's just check this. Oh, hang on. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, 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 okay. Right, I think I know what's wrong. Right, let's start at the top. So when we apply, we're looking at the logical sprite number, the, the physical sprite number here. But we're looking in the array. We're looking in the array for this physical sprite, and we're not. We should be looking. We should be looking for. Um, Should be looking for the oh. right. So this is um, Y. We're gonna have to do that as X, I think. We're, we're using Y as a physical, physical sprite and it's picking up the wrong element to apply to the sprite and that's what's the problem. So the only way I can think we can do this is um, We send Y in as well as X, but, but, but. What am I using it for? Okay, the enable's going to be tricky.
close. Um, so we're sending Y. X is our logical sprite. Okay. Maybe, 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 maybe. I need to change it back to Y. Right. Just bear with me. Just bear with me for a sec. Right. Right, so we keep Y, which does this. But then here, we can do LDY, oops. But then here we can do LDY current physical sprite. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Right, that sh should do it. Right, so we we fat get the enabled into X, then we load the current sprite, then we find the sprite, and then we apply it. Right, that will work for that. What's next? Apply X. So Right, okay, so that's the sprite number. Okay, um... Push that away. That gives us our, but that's the logical sprite. That's the logical sprite. So we want to load the Y value of the logical sprite. Right, so we'll push that away. Then we'll get the physical sprite.
get the physical sprite, times it by 2, oh, LDA, physical sprite, times it by 2, transfer it into X, pull it back. Right, that's that one done. X. So this is the same thing. Oh, this is a bit more complicated. This is definitely a bit more complicated. <laughs> Okay, so we load the Y. Um, is going to be a bit more tricky I think right LDA uh, current physical sprite times by 2 transfer it to X we've still got the Y intact so it loads it subtracts it stores it in the X still loads the Y um, Right, max is going to be. Oh, it's not, is it? Um. Current the physical sprite. gonna have to do that here as well right that should do that cool that was troublesome Right, this is a different thing. So load. This is the same as the enable, wasn't it? How did I do it? I've forgotten how I did that. Here we go. Do that. Sorted. Right, that's that one done. Sprite in front. Same thing. Do that. Okay, um, load the sprite mask of Y. Oh, this is the one here. Right. So that's the physical sprite. 
and we load the logical and then we load the physical again <laughs> and then we load the logical oh dear I'm not using X anywhere am I No, I'm not. X. 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 So Y still intact. X is intact because we started it off. Y still intact. X. That should do it. Right. Uh, apply color. Load the color from there. Load physical sprite. Store it in the physical color. Right. That was easy. Right. Update sprites. Set sprites. Scroll sprites. That is through the modified. Right. <laughs> oh, we broke it. Oh, it animation. Got to go through the animation, don't we? Uh, da, da, da. Apply animation. Right. Right, animation is X. Oh, this is complicated. Set frame. Where's set frame? Yeah, right, so we're set frame. Ah, here we are. So load the frame, apply frame. So load the, f right, okay. And then we'll load the physical sprite here. Oh, that'll sort that out. Oh, that's not as hard as I thought it was. Oh, it's still not working. Rats. Rats, 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 rats. Oh no. Right. Have we got the animation back? Oh. Pfft. 
load the logical sprite that goes into there we change it in there so we got to load the logical sprite again I should have started this now. Oh! Right. Let's throw in the spanner. That should be okay. Load the frame, comma, the virtual sprite, load the physical sprite, store it in the physical location, so that should be okay. Right, work out, oh, it could be this, because, ah, oh, right, okay, it could be that. Because this is the, um, oh, doing it twice. Load the Y value, store it, load the X. Oh, hang on. Times by two, transfer it to what? A, X. Pull it. Arm oh, wrestling. <laughs> I. <laughs> okay. I'm glad I'm glad I'm in uh, elite company then because this is driving me nuts physical Y store it uh, sorry logical Y store it physical sprite times it by two right that works uh, X this is going to be the troublesome one load the physical sprite times it by two okay Transfer into X. We've still got the th logical sprite there. Subtract it, store it in the physical location. Load the high logical bright, subtract it. Load the physical sprite, mask it off. That should be okay. That should be okay. Multicolor. Load the multicolor mode from the f logical, load the physical, apply it to the physical, mask the physical. That should work. Same with pr apply priority. Load the logical, whether it's active, load the physical mask, apply it. Apply expand, here we go. LDX physical mask it load the logical mask off the physical yeah that should work load the color comma y load the physical store it in the physical Right, let's try that. Oops. Oh. Right. 
Right. I'm going to put a break point on these applies just to see what's going off. Right, we'll do the enable first. And wrong thing. Right. Load X with one. Load Y with zero. Is it the linking? Or is the linking going off? No, it shouldn't be. Linking's only on apply, uh, uh, set. At the moment, I don't feel I'm software or game developer. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment. Uh, where you've broken it good and proper. Well and truly broken it. JSR, apply Y. Why am I applying Y? Oh. Where's that break point gone? Right, getting rid of you. And we're going to run through it on the update. So we will do it there. Right, see where it's going wrong. See which sprite it's going wrong on. Right, so this is the first time through. This is Quasi. There he is. Right, so we know Quasi's on there, okay. Second one is the multicolor mode. And multicolor mode's not in the right place. It's on, but he's over here. And his frame's not set. Okay, 
let's do that again. So we know Quasi goes on first. Right, so this is second time. Here we go. So load Y with the logical. So we're on sprite 1. Here we go. Compare it with 0. Has it set? Yes, it is. Right. So we're going to enable it. Load X with 1. Load Y with 1. Grab the mask. Or it. Store it. There he is. He's at the bottom. Right. So this should be the Y. So we're on logical sprite three. Oh. Hang on. Why is that CB? Let's go through that again. Right, F11, quasi outline. There he is. Right, so we're going to go through the enable. Here we go. There he is, is at the bottom. Oh, I didn't check on something. Hang on. Right, there's quasi. So, LDA. CB, right, so it is CB, okay. So we set, turn him on. CB again, and it with two. Right, so this is now applying the Y. So we're loading A with AC, push it away. Load A with the sprite, times it by 2, transfer it to X, pull it back, store it in Y. Right, so he's moved OK. Now we're doing the X. Right, this is the one. Load O1, load Y, why didn't it set the X? Apply Y, apply X, why didn't it set the X? outline should be on it is enable yes um, set Y so it does it right oh four oh why is it not set the what X should have been linked
Oh, hang on. No, I reset it. I reset it. Right. Where is X? X, 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 X. Where's X? What's the array for X? 0918. Oh nine one eight. Right, so this is the X values. Oh, it's set to zero. Right, it's not applying. It's not doing the. Um, it doesn't look like it's doing the linking. Right, set X. So it's not that. Sprite number set low. Copy X. I wonder if it's the copy function that's gone funny. We don't load anything else, right? Okay, so let's just set set is Y, 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 Y is Y all the way. Right, so copy Y. Store it in X. Ooh. No, no. Is it not linked? Where's the linking? O A six E. O A six eight nine A B C D E. Yeah, it is. That's linked O one. So it should have copied it. It should have copied it. LDA fraction comma Y, store it in comma X. Right. I wonder if it's that.
Hmm. I am going to um, just rem that out for a moment. What's up, mate? What's up? Can't, mate. Busy. Right. Uh, quasi. He's still not got an X value. His frames get set, but he's just got no X value. So we're on, we're on. Um, oh, that's going up and up and up. Yeah. Oh dear. So it's not trans. It's not transferring it across. Let's do this. Right, so this is the copy. No, it ain't. No, it isn't. This is the update. Why did it not break on the copy? Why did it not break on the copy? If we're setting quasi here, set up quasi sprite. Here we go, set X. Let's put the breakpoint there. That should be doing a copy there. to a that's over here somewhere there it is transfer X into a store that there or right, four So this is working out whether we are within the screen. Yes, we are. Oh, no, oh, a transfer Y to A. That's doing the enable. Right, set X. Right, here we go. Oh, 
Are we on screen? Ooh. LD X comma Y. What's Y? Oh, Y is on the wrong register. Y is on the wrong register. Right. That is why it's going wrong. So we need to do an LDY. Um, And we need to do a something like that because this is destroying Y. So I'm just wondering if I need to do it on others as well. So set X, add to X. I think we're going to have to do it there as well. Uh, same with that. Not with that. Right, so I need the other bit. I need the other bit. Where is it? That bit. Put that there, put that there. Right, let's see if we get quasi now. Right, outline. There he is. Do we get multicolored? Yes, we do, because there he is. I wonder if it throws a fit. It still throws a fit, doesn't it? I may have to rewrite this. to rewrite this we're affecting some VIC registers that we shouldn't be doing right let's go back to the updater So put a breakpoint there and run through it. Right, so here we go. So now you can go because I should have got rid of you. Right, so there's Quasi on the first run. First run, Quasi's on the screen. Second run is activated, but his uh, animation is screwed. But that's fine. That's fine. Then we're doing Y2. So that's logical sprite 2. Still on physical sprite 1. Now we're logical sprite 3 and physical sprite 3. That's interesting. 4, 5, 6, 
five, six, and that's why it's blown a fuse. Why is the I need to look at the memory. Um, where's um, current physical sprite? O A O right O A A C and D. They're the two numbers I want to be looking at. Oh, where's that? Great point. Get rid of that one. So, O, A, A, C. That's there. Right. That's what we're looking for. Right. So, quasi on screen. So O A A C is at zero and zero. Then we should go to one and one, which is right. Then we should move up on the second number. Wow, it's on five. Why is that on five? Oh, is that the arrow? Yeah, it's the arrow, isn't it? That's why it's going all horribly wrong. So it's up here. So load. We're loading the current. Oh, we're still using X. <gasps> Ooh, no, no, X is. Hang on. X, load the current logical sprite, which is Y. Okay, let's get this back to right. Y. Load the mapping to the physical and then we store it now this hmm Where's our ray? O A Oh, right, okay. O O A A four. That's what we want to look at. Make sure the mapping's right. Right, O A A four. Get it on the right four. That's there. So we've got sprite zero is mapped to logical sprite zero, sprite one to one, then five, and then it's eight eight eighty. Right. So we're looking now at. Um, C and D so that's that one there and that one there so the next one should be one one and one yep then five and two good then it's gone to three so that means it must have bypassed it and four then five, then six, seven, eight. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Right, I think I know what the problem is. So let's just make, let's just make sure. Um,
Yeah. Right. So we've got this the wrong way around. So we're loading. We're loading the physical sprite. <clears throat> which gives us the logical one. And then at the bottom here, we are loading the physical sprite, storing it, and maximum number of sprites. <sighs> Don't tell me that's what was wrong with it all along. Oh, well, that's thrown a fit anyway. Um. Where's that throwing a fit? That's hitting a break point somewhere. Physical, load the physical sprite. Physical to logical. Store the logical. Load the logical, load the logical. Okay, let's put a break point back here again. See where it's throwing a fit now. So, OAA4. So zero one five eighty. Right, so we're on the right track. Right, so we've got Quasi on the screen. Now for his coat. There it is. And we're looking at these two now. Uh, that one there. And so one and one. Then it should go two and five. That's right. Yeah, there's the arrow on the screen. And then it should go three and nothing, four and nothing, five and nothing, six, seven, eight. Ooh. That's picked out that one, hasn't it? Now that's gone to nine. Oh, <laughs> I've just seen it. Oh, what a wally. I'm testing the wrong register. Testing the wrong register. Right, come on. Hurrah. Right, we are back up and running. This time now we should be right. So we got issues. But we should be there we go, so we're stacking up now. That's good. Let's get rid of the border. Right, so we're stacking up, which is what I wanted. Now let's let's go moving. Right, so it's not resetting. It's not resetting them back. 
So we've got a little bit of work to do. Yeah, there's a little bit of work to do. Right, so we've got sprites down here. So the Y's not been set properly. But it's stacking them up right. We've just got a little bit of work to do. To make the uh, sprites correspond to where they are. And if you notice, if you notice our banding is a lot less. Here we go, yellow. Oh, we've actually got it doing it. So we've, we've saved processing power on the updating of the sprites. Oh, and our scroll looks brilliant. Oh, it's got a slight glitch. Right, okay, so we need to, um, how, how is that going to, um, how is that going to work? Um, I wonder, I wonder. So let me just try something just for, um, just for fun. Right, I wonder if it's because of that. Let's have a look. Right, so we've still got issues. We've still got issues. Um, and I think that's because when we when we switch in sprites, I think we're not turning it off. Right, let's get rid of the border.
Yes, we're not turning it off. So, right, so there he is there, but we will move him down, so he's leaving Ghost behind. So we need to turn these sprites, we need to turn these sprites off. Right, okay. Um, da, 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 da. How am I gonna do this? Um, It's here. That's where we need to do it. So, um, but I can't use apply enable. That's the problem. Because if I use apply enable, it's looking for the logical sprite. Yeah. It's looking for the logical sprite, and we haven't got one. So, um, so uh, how are we going to do this? I think we would go. Um, like this ldx hash zero jsr apply enable plus three that should jump into here and that should turn the sprite off Right, let's see. Right, so we went that way into the thick of it. We're not leaving ghost behind any, anymore. There you go. So now we use it, we're utilizing the sprites fully now. So at the moment, in this part of the screen, we're using one, two, three, four, five maximum. But as you can see, when sprites disappear, it's down to three. So there's four, five, three. So it means that we can, we can put more bad guys on the screen and as long as we don't have more than eight sprites, we should be fine. So if I carry on running over here, we should see Jill appear. But she's not. Ooh. Why is she not appear? She should be on the screen now. Oh, a a four. She should be on the screen, but...
Hang on. I wonder if it's the scroller. Oh yeah. I turned it off, didn't I? Right, so she should come back. Right then. Come on, Jill. Where are you? Come on. Oh, why is she not appearing? Where is the on-screen array? Oh, right. OA92. So it's just before. Right, from there. So it's saying Jill's not on the screen. But she should be. Alright, I'm going to have to figure out why Jill's not appearing. She's definitely there. She's definitely there. Scroll sprites. Load the current logical sprite if it's enabled. She should be. Um... Oh, hang on. Are we scrolling? I change her X value. No. We don't change our X value. I wonder if we change it in the scroller. Um, so we scroll sprites there.
Hmm. Ooh, that is annoying. That is annoying. Do we change it? Okay guys, I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to look at this off screen. It's strange. Yes, I know, I know mate, I'm, I know. I know mate, I know. Give me a second. No, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I've got a pooch down here who wants to go out out. But I'm also going to have a look at it off screen, just to just to see what's got, just to understand. So I've got. Empty. You want a wee wee, don't you? Yes. All right. I. <laughs> I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. We're almost there. We're almost there. Um. But I'll have a look at it when I finish the stream and see if I can fig figure out why. Um, she's not turning up she's definitely there but i don't know why she's not um, coming on the screen all right then guys right i'll call it a day for today and i'll let you know on discord how i get on all right well thank you very much for joining me it's been a painful stream uh, but this is what we go through when we make working on these things and uh, i'll see you on monday with the maze all right take care guys have fun I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.